Hey everybody, I'm Melissa June Rowley. And I am Jeff Rago. And we are in bed with Mark Gant. My name is Neil Bannon. I'm a gambler, a thief, and a con man. Hello. How did you get the band way up from your brain onto the web? We shot uh, like a, a pilot presentation and we edited a trailer out of that and we basically sent it out to a lot of people. One of the people that saw it was uh, a, like an acquaintance of mine at the time who was an agent at ICM. Where he was one that really kind of, you know, took it around town and like showed people. But people were already seeing it once we did the trailer, once we put the trailer up on our site. And then Two Filters saw it and they posted it on there. Uh, you know, it was like, hey, check out this trailer. This looks great. And we had nothing. I mean, at that point, we had no meetings with ICM. We had nothing with Sony. So it was what they were looking for. I think we just kind of lucked out. It was exactly what they're looking for, kind of an action sexy humor you know piece that they can then sell it internationally as a feature film but how do you do that when everybody wants you dead so i'm guessing you don't have the 150 g's to pay son <laughs> and for some reason you're still alive now you are how can i say this you play that character you are very handsome which is why you're in bed with us um you play neil bannon remarkably well. How much like your character are you? Apparently a lot. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I think that um, I definitely, you know, I think Neil Bannon is the character that I would love to be in real life. Like the guy that has his shit together. I mean, I, I think I, I spend my life trying to pretend like I have my shit together. I think so. So does Neil Bannon. You know? So I think there's a lot of similarities uh, in the fact that you know, I will, you know, I will try to charm my way out of doing anything or getting something that I want, but, um, you know, at the same time, offending as many people as I get on my side. You give me a week, get you an extra 100 Gs. Old Francis! Yeah. What's one trait that Neil Bannon has that you wish you had yourself? Confidence. <laughs> You're not confident. He's no, just so handsome. He's just me. handsome, you not confident. So confident. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's all a, it's all game. It's all game. Yeah. Well, you're a great actor. <laughs> yeah. I'm offering you a chance to square your debt. Maybe a little place in the Bahamas, fancy cars, women. Um. Do you want to get under the covers? I would love. To. <laughs> Today, I decided to get out of the criminal lifestyle. In high school. How much did acting help bring you out of your shell? Um, well, in high school, you know, I, I didn't do any of the acting or anything. So in high school, and after, you know, right after high school was, those were dark days for me. Those were, those were drinking and, you know, drugs and, you know, partying and, you know, getting in trouble. And, you know, that was, that was, uh, that was a tough time for me. That was where I was kind of really, you know, you know, um, Trying to, you know, I was really crying for help because I was just, I kind of like shut down so much. And then, at, you know, once I was introduced to alcohol and drugs, I was like, oh wow, this makes me feel better, you know. Um, but I, you know, I wrecked seven cars, uh, you know, was doing construction and dropped a, a saw down on, you know, within a foot of somebody's, you know, head. And so there's things that I was like, oh maybe I shouldn't be drinking and doing cocaine and crystal meth as much as I was doing. So, so I stopped. What was it for you that, that made you turn that corner and decide, I have to straighten up, I have to be sober, you know, I have to be healthy? Um, it's always, you know, kind of everybody's culmination, culmination of things. things. You know, one of the things was um, I had uh, I'd taken some time off and from work involuntary. <laughs> you know, my boss said, I can't work with you anymore. I was doing construction and uh, and I lied to him and said I was going to start going to AA meetings and um, talk to my, you know, my family and stuff. And I didn't. I said I was going to my dad's, and he like checked up with me because he needed me to work actually like a day later. And like within a week of me being off of work, he came and said, "Hey, let's let's start working again." And so he picked me up and he's like, "So, I called your dad and you weren't there. And I talked to your mom and she doesn't know that you're staying at her house and you don't have a car and I can't hire you. So, you need help." I was like, uh, and then like the world kind of crashing around me. He said, you know, we have insurance. I'll take you to, you know, an inpatient. You can just go to a treatment center. And so I didn't think I had a problem. There was like, I just don't like getting caught in things, you know. And so once I was there, though, when I, when I started going to the treatment and you know going to different you know meetings and stuff, I did realize that I, I 
related to a lot of what they were saying. You go out to events, people are, especially now, people are probably wooing you, asking you to come to networking events mm -hmm. and parties. And, um, you know, how is that for you, resisting that kind of temptation? I mean, I, you know, I have a, a very solid program that I work and, you know, I, I, you know, I stay out of those dangerous zones. You know, I mean, I can be in a bar, I could, you know, be at a party, but I'm not going to go to the bathroom with somebody who's doing, you know, coke. You know, just, you know, I'm just I keep myself free of those kind of you know situations. And That's interesting because your character um, does drink. Yes, and smoke and does all he, sorts of. He does lots addictive. Of he has yes. lots of addictive yes. uh, yes. qualities to him. <laughs> yes. um, is that therapeutic for you to play that out? Well, I think that we wanted that. What I think drew me to um, Neil Bannon when we started creating him and, and adding different layers to it. I mean, originally he was just kind of like a thief, and I was like. Mm. It'd be great if he was struggling with stuff all the time. And then it was like, so he's maybe 30 days sober and he's trying to like stop and then, you know, he drinks. Well, you, you're in a relationship. Yes. That's um, with a very uh, attractive. Stunningly beautiful actress. Stunning actress who happens to be in very the Bannon way. So yes. now I, that circled us back to the Bannon way. I'm sorry about that. Let's just talk uh, about her now. <laughs> let's talk way. about it. Let's okay. talk about her. How did you two meet? <laughs> uh, we met in acting class and um, she asked me out. And, uh, I, I love it. You out. I love it. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Woman after my own heart. She said, um, she's like, hey, do you have a girlfriend? And I had just done a scene. I was like, you know, finished, changed and like was walking up the steps to, you know, sit down. And she's, and I did something weird. Like I went, well, I'm fine. I went like that to her forehead. I don't know why. I've never like, like touched her or didn't even, we kind of like, you know, talked in class and stuff. And, uh, so I kept walking. She's like, hey, do you have a girlfriend? And I was like, um, no. She's like, do you want to go on a date? Like, uh, sure. <laughs> She's like, okay, well, my number's on the uh, class list. You can call. And I was like, okay. I and know. Then, uh, you have to work a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I called her the next day, and uh, we went on, the, like, the following day, you know, for a date. And we were both saying, you know, we, we got to, to this restaurant to eat, and we are both saying, you know, I just got a relationship, or I'm, I don't want to be in a relationship, and I just, you know, I'm just really just dating you know that's that's it you know and I'm thinking that's all it was going to be and uh as we were walking we went to dinner and then a movie because I you know I don't date so somebody took me asked me on a date so I like we went to dinner and a movie and then as we were walking out I grabbed her hand and we both kissed each other you know as we were walking out of the movie theater I was like that was really comfortable and really easy and kind of scary and then you know like within a month she moved in and it's been five years over five years um if you were not acting or making films, what do you think you'd be doing? Cop. Cop. Yeah. Really? Yeah. My, well, my dad and my brother are both cops. And so, what? yeah, just always one of those things. Like, you know, I have, uh, I love cop movies and cop shows and, you know, just, you know, my, my girlfriend calls me, like, the neighborhood watch. If, like, something's going on or I see some kind of suspicious character, I'm like, I'm out there, you know, <laughs> sneaking around with my phone, like, I'm going to, like, do something. She's like, what are you going to do? <laughs> that moment when you're falling asleep trying to you know get the day out of your head what what is it that you where do you go what do you think about um i, I try to um you know part of kind of my you know being sober and stuff i i, I kind of look at my day i kind of see where you know i may have done something wrong or done something to other people or people have done wrong to me and i just kind of just I kind of like let that go. And so, you know, if I don't do that, I find myself kind of just in my head running over the day in a bad way. So I try to like just kind of go through my day, see what I did, you know, how I could have changed it. And then, you know, once I've done that, it kind of clears my head and, you know, can stay open to what the good stuff that I want to happen the next day and things I can, can work on and be a better person. No, that's, just sort of that's acknowledge great. it so you can let it go. Yeah. That's, well, I'm going to try that. <laughs> you're oh. awesome. You're much more than I thought you'd be. I'm pretty awesome. Wow. <laughs> you really are. Pretty From awesome. Jeff Ray's <laughs> mouth, Mark Ant is much more than he thought no, he'd be. No, I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of depth, a lot of depth there, which is which is really cool. Well, I knew he'd be. I know deep. you did. <laughs> That's why I picked him. I That's know. why I invited He's... him to get in bed with us. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. This is a pleasure. Thank you. This is really great. Thank Very you. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you for joining us. It was great. Um, I think that about wraps it up. I think that up. wraps it up. Thank you for joining me in bed. Melissa in bed and Mark in bed. Oh. <laughs> One more thing. Would you recommend that other people in your field get in bed with the two of us? Highly. <laughs> highly. Highly recommend. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Have a Thanks. good night, everyone.